back to reality, wasn't it? Back to reality. Which back I to reality. and I watched it, having directed all the Red Dwarfs up to that point, and I watched Back to Reality, and I th and you know, like when uh, you know, even though uh, it was me not doing it, in other words, um, I couldn't do it, even though it was that I wanted it, I watched it, and I thought I just want this to be a little bit shit. <laughs> That's what I wanted. I just wanted it to be crap. And I watched it and I thought, shit, this is really good. That's it. Life's I, over. I remember when we took the script into Paul Jackson. It was the first one we did for that uh, series. Was Paul... No, we, he, he just saw oh, the script. Yes, he wasn't right. involved. Basically. Yeah, yeah. And he just saw the script and he thought... we. You know, halfway through, he thought we'd, we'd we'd done a real flanker, and we were actually completely changing the whole idea and saying it on this uh, yeah. this dystopian mm. Earth, mm. and and you know, because we got bored of writing things mm. in spaceships, yeah, yeah. And he really he really thought we were capable of doing yeah. that. It's funny though that show because originally it was we wanted it to go out first, didn't we? And I don't think it'd have had nearly as much impact if it had gone out first. And even doing the dub. It was like, oh, it's not funny. Oh, that's right. It's not worked. Why? And then it was, we neither of us were, you know. It was like, oh, we thought this was so funny on paper, and it isn't now. When, oh, what happened? I remember, I was in shock when we recorded the um, the, the sequence where they, they they get killed and then come out of the uh, mm. totally immersion video game with Tim and, and it played to absolute absolutely no less. Yeah. That's right. But isn't that because it's rather a shocking yeah, moment? Yeah, the audience were, we were just... just there with the yes. So then we just did the whole thing again and got laughs. Yes, it was... I mean, those laughs are genuine. Mm. Yeah. Mm. I People think... relaxed um, a bit. <laughs> it is a shocking moment. I remember watching it thinking, my God, you know, I was hooked. <laughs> I was completely hooked. And I thought, this is it. Uh, this, this is uh, some sort of resolution. They've obviously decided to stop now. <laughs> That's the end of it. Mm. You sap. Yeah. I know. <laughs> Sapped, sucked in, and, I, I, and completely I remember hooked. seeing Danny for the first time in the Dwayne Dibley. Oh, podcast. Dwayne Dibley. And I, I, I honestly never no, heard of you. No, I, I didn't know who he was. <laughs> <laughs> I really didn't. I didn't know it was Danny. He was just standing Sam next to me for about five minutes. I thought, oh my God, how the fans, they've got in. <laughs> <laughs> Oh dear! He was... came out and he was just merciless. Yeah. I, I literally fell on the floor laughing. I literally did. Yeah, because Danny just would stand around like that and laugh, <laughs> wouldn't he? Because he just knew he would just watch people go. Oh, my God, it's Danny. Danny's in there, and just fall around for this thermos. Oh dear, oh dear. It was that wig, I think, as yeah. uh, apart from the teeth, which is obviously the main the main hook for that particular yeah. look. Teeth, are fantastic. But uh, stunning, <laughs> stunning transformation. They all had good stunning transformations, actually. Um, uh, mm. that, that was very well, very yeah. well done. That was a, that was another concession because Robert Robert Llewellyn at the time was really bored with wearing uh, the mask. I don't know if you knew this, Doug. Did you mention it to you? <laughs> I must have just slipped past me. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, come. Right. Not that he went on about it a lot. But <laughs> we sort of promised him. Um, we'd already done it in series. Uh, season four the uh, dna we promised mm. him a show where he didn't have to wear a mask all the time mm. he did <laughs> but uh, as it happened he you know he had a mask and plates in in the mask didn't he in that <laughs> one. so he had like extra <laughs> so a mask and another mask extra, but he got to wear a costume so he didn't have to wear you know the 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 rest of the that was, now, that was the concession that yeah. was the concession because it used to take hours and hours to get him into that then didn't it well maybe not then but in sort of series three it was still a long time it started off, didn't it? I mean, initially, when we first put him in that mask, it was about four hours, I think. I mean, the really accurate details are all in the book, <laughs> where I'm portrayed as a sort of... Is this Robert's book? Yes, Robert's book, The Man in the... Room. Yeah, I think that's a terrible book. That yeah. book, just, you know... I mean, everyone's just, you know... Well, I'm portrayed like dad. a sort of retired wing commander who comes in and goes, Be funny, chaps! <laughs> I say chaps a lot, is that um, true? And what's, what's, what's your objection? <laughs> right, that's it. It's not going to be a fight. And I go, yeah, no, yeah, no. It's funny. It's not funny. And Rob coughs all the time. Yeah. And you can say I haven't coughed. Mm. I haven't edited out a single cough. Yeah, Non-single cough. And you didn't say anything was funny. I didn't say anything was funny, and I don't think I've said yeah or no once. And, all right, and, I might have said chaps a couple of times. <laughs> and, and you saluted very little. <laughs> so there. Yeah, so just, so, you know. Um, so watch it, yeah. Yeah, just exactly. yeah. Mm. Terrible that book. Terrible. 
<laughs> it was a very clever episode. And, um, and I didn't do it. Thank you. So let's move on. We did beg, didn't we? We did beg. We did? Yes, we did. Yeah, Ed. I no, I know, I know. I, unfortunately, <coughs> I had to make a, a, another television series for somebody else. Um, you weren't allowed to make it, were you? Come be honest. And, uh, hmm? You weren't allowed to do it, were you? Because you hadn't pegged. No, I, I'd, I'd, uh, I'd agreed to, to work on another programme. His um, missus wouldn't let him do it, and, and so he uh, do it. Yeah, all right. The missus said, if you don't make this programme, I'll chop your ghoulies off, and that was simply the choice of that. <laughs> Testicles or red dwarf. Sacrifice, yeah. yeah. I did think about it for a moment. 